Bishop Ludden grad Mike Nathan attended college on the hill. Not the SU Hill, the one in Bowling Green, Kentucky, home of the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Ironically, golf coach Jim Richards' last win as WKU basketball coach was a 1978 NCAA overtime shocker at the expense of Syracuse. He was a big, tall, rangy athlete. He could hit that, that Titleist Blotta ball with a wooden-headed club a mile. And since I only had two scholarships total for the team, I felt like he was worth at least a half. I gave the other half to a guy named Kenny Perry, who uh, won 14 times on the PGA Tour for one scholarship. Uh, I thought that was pretty good for our team. And good for Mike Nathan, who roomed with Perry as a freshman. Mike and I were roommates back in 1979, our freshman year. And it's hard to believe that an old redneck and a Yankee would become such close friends. I even asked Mike to be the best man in my wedding. Dave Smith knew Nathan from junior golf and his Bishop Ludden teammates. Each went to college in Kentucky, but Smith went to Eastern Kentucky. Did they face each other collegiately? I was never in the same group with him because he was usually playing with the likes of Kenny Perry, Chris Perry from Ohio State, Brad Faxon. He was the elite and I was usually on the B squads. After college, Mike began a business career. He's president of Taylor Upstate, specializing in restaurant equipment. He and wife Marcia have three children and three grandchildren. So what set Nathan apart from the rest of the golf community? Well, he's won 12 majors, five districts, four Herald Ams, three Ash Memorials. That's more than anyone. Three times he captured two of the district's three crown jewels. Four times he's been named Player of the Year. In 2016, Mike debuted as a senior by beating Hall of Famer Alan Foster in a playoff, the first of three consecutive senior titles. He was Player of the Year his first two seasons among the seniors. He played on 25 Mitchell Cup teams and has been a Soviet Cup regular, and recently, he was enshrined in the Syracuse District Golf Association Hall of Fame. With such credentials, the question arises, could Mike Nathan have been a PGA Tour pro? To this day, we talk about it all the time. You know, do you have any regrets? And he says that absolutely not. We all know he had the tools to do it. Mike was a better chipper and a better putter than Kenny. There's no doubt in my mind that Mike could have been an excellent PGA Tour player. The uncertainty that goes into a uh, PGA professional tour career, I think kept Mike from wanting that life, the nomadic life. You beat everybody, you even beat me when I came up there. I still owe you a dollar, I, I'm, I, I didn't forget. But anyway, I wanna tell you about one of the rounds at WKU. We were at Terre Haute, in, uh, Indiana, at Home and Lynx. Mike had a broken collarbone. He still wasn't going to be left at home. And that's why he was our captain. He was our leader. He was a tough dude. Actually, Mike played his entire junior year with a broken left shoulder, sustained while riding his moped from Tuscarora. It didn't keep him from playing or chowing down to eat. I have been around a lot of uh, basketball players. Uh, I've been around a lot of football players, uh, all of whom eat a lot, none of them ate as much as Mike Nathan. He could really put down the biscuits and gravy or any of the other uh, fried chicken and the things that we uh, taught him in the South that he didn't understand when he was at Syracuse growing up. Respected by the golf community for decades as a Hall of Fame individual and golfer, Mike Nathan becomes a member of the Greater Syracuse Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2019.